Hey guys, it's Dan Booknook Noggin. Let's talk about Matt Lyon's newest book, A Black and Endless Sky. Um, now, like I said, this is his second ever book. I read and reviewed his first book, The Night Will Find Us. I will have a link to that down below if you want to go check that out. But um, I this was my highly anticipated release for 2022. Uh, when I heard about this, I was like, oh my god, I can't wait to read this because I absolutely loved his first book. Now, this book is about two siblings named Jonah and Nell Talbot. And they're very rough around the edges. They're very broken down people. And Nell goes to California to pick up her brother Jonah because he just recently got divorced. And he's got to restart his life all over again. And they decide to travel to New Mexico. And one thing leads to another. And I know that a lot of people are saying this is just a possession story. It's a road trip slash possession story. But it is so much more than that. Um, I'm kind of glad <coughs> that I had listened to an author interview. I think he did it with Books in the Freezer. Yeah, Books in the Freezer podcast if you want to go check out that. You can hear him talk about this book. Now, um, I found it interesting because, you know, he made a good point that, you know, this is more than just horror. Um, I thought at first I thought it was going to be cosmic horror. I thought it was going to be like an elder god type of thing. But it is, it very much is angel demon kind of thing going on. I love the fact that the author kind of gave this um, this being that was possessing her a personality and a name and all of that. So you kind of had some kind of background as to what it was. Um, one of the other things I really enjoyed about this, and this was a pretty quick read. It was only about 354 pages but one of the cool things I really enjoyed was not only the action, the pacing, um, the intensity of some of the scenes, but I love the phrases he would just throw out there. Um, I don't know if they're 100% original, but I absolutely love this one line where um, Jonah was talking about, and that's the thing, like, each chapter will say it's this person, and it'll say what part of the road trip they're on, like what town they are. Um, yeah, interesting cast of characters for sure. But one of the things I loved was um, when Jonah said something that the road trip was just the sprinkles on the shit Sunday that was his life. I thought that was a brilliant fucking line. Um, and there was a couple of others like that. I just can't remember them off the top of my head. But yeah, definitely there's biker gangs. There is the crime element. So it is kind of fast and gritty at times. And then they it, they come across this exorcist. And this is nothing like the exorcist. So, you know, get all that idea of exorcisms out of your head because they do not apply here. Um, this is its own thing. It's its own animal. Um, but this was really brilliant. I really did enjoy this. Like I said... The, the grittiness of it, the fight scenes, the, the prose, the, the phrases he used were kind of spot on, really good. And I do have to say that the ending really took me through a loop. It really took me for a surprise. I did not kind of anticipate things happening the way they did, but it was really good. Um, I gave this a 4 out of 5 star rating on Goodreads. If you guys want to go ahead and check it out, I will have a link down below for this. And if you don't mind donating a dollar or two to my coffee, I will have a link to that as well. If you came here here to hear more about horror books, please hit that subscribe button and while you're there, hit that notification bell. This has been Dan. This has been A Black and Endless Sky by Matt Lyons. Go get this, guys. This is really worth the read. It's definitely an interesting take on possession stories. Like, definitely. And it was pretty cool fight scenes. Kind of Matrix kind of stuff. Just saying.